hey what's going on my friends in this video i want to give you some of the latest sba ppp paycheck protection program news that you want to know is going on what's happening because a lot of people out there still have questions still are curious do i still have a chance to get some of this ppp money this free business money from this forgivable loan or this grant the government has supplied us and offered us as sole proprietors as independent contractors as freelancers, as small business owners. And yes, if you're someone part of the gig economy, if you work for Uber, for DoorDash, for Grubhub, for Fiverr, for TaskRabbit, for Instacart, whoever, maybe you're doing your own thing around your town, your city. Well, fortunately, you have a chance to get some of this free business money. Now, I do want you guys to know I have a link down below to my Wampley uh, partnership where you can apply for the PPP with lenders that still will give you a chance. But as you can see from this title, SBA tells lenders to withdraw unapproved PPP loans ahead of deadline. What exactly does that mean? Well, specifically, it's saying the SBA Small Business Administration is asking Paycheck Protection Program lenders to withdraw any application that has not yet been approved so that businesses, self-employed individuals like yourself and myself, can apply elsewhere. The SBA said that if lenders do not remove their loans, the agency will remove them today, pretty much May 17th, 2021, according to a message sent to lenders by the agency's Office of Capital Access which oversees the program. And this might seem, it might sound bad, but it's good, it's a good thing. The move is intended to give small businesses time to apply for a PPP loan anew with a community financial institution, which are allowed to keep making loans under a multi-billion dollar set aside reserve for small lenders, such as community development, financial institutions, and minority deposit institutions. Of course, you guys know, probably know all that because I've made updated videos talking about it, but I do want to actually elaborate on this a little bit as well, because I was kind of under the impression and, and I don't think it is clear as it could be, but this is still available for like anyone pretty much that is eligible for it. My initial impression was focused on the minority deposit institution component, meaning the program would be kind of specifically allocated towards minorities and including women, which I kind of thought the community development financial institutions were geared towards, but the CDFIs, the community development financial institutions aren't available only for women but other people out there like yourself who are self-employed who are independent contractors who are part of the gig economy who are small business owners so very important information there i hope you guys are catching that and, and, and hearing what i'm saying because as small businesses we have until may 31st to apply for a ppp loan with the sba which has until the end of june to approve any such loans so you can submit an application up in until the end of this month. However, it doesn't mean it's going to be approved right away. As I just read, as you can see, it has until the end of June to approve any such loans. So the message comes as millions of small businesses found themselves shut out of the PPP after the SBA abruptly closed its portal to new loans earlier in May, saying funding for new loans outside of the set aside and to cover loans subject to hold codes had been exhausted. And a lot of you guys had questioned me, you're like, oh, Wampley this, Wampley that. Wampley is just like connecting you with lenders oftentimes the holds and the issues that you guys are dealing with not on their part it's something that's on a lender's part where there's a hold on your account on your application for whatever reason and a lot of people unfortunately were in a situation not just would apply through Wampley, but pretty much any kind of portals or lenders and whatnot had experienced this hold codes issue and as you can see that left a large number of loans in limbo chris hearn a ceo of non-bank ppp lender fountainhead said despite the portal closure, a batch of about 13,000 PPP loans were approved the Friday and Saturday after the portal had been shut down, leading to further confusion about what will happen to the remaining unapproved loans. He said that might have happened as the agency cleared duplicate loans or canceled loans to make room for new ones. But PPP platform Wampley has hundreds of thousands of such loans and its CEO Toby Skim, um, Skimmel told me in an earlier interview that CDFIs and other CFIs are simply not equipped to approve large number of loans in such a short time frame, leading to a fear that small businesses will be shut out program with money left over. Meanwhile, small businesses that are facing forgiveness could 
could see a process that takes years to resolve. And other SBA programs are seeing a run on funding as well, blah, 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 blah. we won't get into that here. So as I mentioned, I do have a link to Wampley's portal where you can be connected with dozens of potential lenders in which someone, hopefully part of the CDFIs or who's a minority deposit institution, will be able to fund, you know, help fund you and get you approved for your PPP loan. Because again, this is free business money and you potentially can get over $20,000 that you don't have to pay back. I mean, not a bad deal, not a bad deal at all. But you need to make sure you shoot your shot, which means apply before May 31st. So hit the link down below in the description area. Of course, I have a ton of other beneficial links. Get free stocks if you sign up Webull. Get $30 if you sign up with M1 Finance. I mean, if you want to invest, if you're looking for some credit cards or reward points, if you are looking to grow your business, more money, there's some resources down below in the description area. So definitely check those out while you are down there. And when you're down there, like this video. It does help me. It shows me you guys appreciate and enjoy this type of content. And it also helps with the YouTube algorithm. And after that, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest upcoming videos and news especially around the PPP and other local grants and loans that are being rolled out across the country. Yeah, I'm making videos on local programs too. So definitely subscribe and uh, check out some of those links down below in the description area. And on that note, let me know what you guys think. Do you have any thoughts about uh, the PPP program so far? I mean, I think most people who are watching now probably are still in limbo, still trying to get some of it. But if you by chance have received some PPP money, leave a comment down below. I think it would be encouraging and help motivate others to apply, to shoot their shot, to to give it a go but of course be honest no fraud stuff no lying shoot your shot you know the only way you can score is if you try so on that note i'm gonna keep it moving i hope you guys found this video hope you guys are having a great day much appreciation for watching and uh yeah you already know i'll see you in the next video peace